Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another video in the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Marvel 80 Years 80th Anniversary 2-Pack X-Men set. We have Colossus and the Juggernaut. What an awesome 2-Pack and this may be the best out of them all. Although again, I'm still biased towards MCU, but this is an absolutely fantastic 2-Pack that I am extremely, extremely excited to open up and show for you guys. So we'll get right to it. Here you can see the X-Men logo in front. This one is comic basic. We do get the Marvel 80 Years logo. Two figures looking really awesome. We get some added accessories, so very cool there. Side artwork there. It's kind of hard to show that on screen, but you can go to my Instagram page and you can see the artwork. Um, here is a look at the back of the package. We get this awesome cover of X-Men showing Colossus and Juggernaut fighting. We have some bios on both of them. Let's check those out. Marvel's Colossus, a mutant with the ability to transform his body into metal, Piotr Rasputin left his farm community to join the X-Men and fight for good. Marvel's Juggernaut, Kane Marco possesses superhuman strength and extreme durability that allows him to rampage through any situation as an unstoppable Juggernaut of force. Remember, Juggernaut is not actually a mutant, so, but, man, oh, I can't wait to get this guy out. Juggernaut's cool, too, but... You know, I have the Build-A-Figure. There's major difference, well, not major, but there are definitely some big differences with this guy though. So let's open them up and take a better look. Wow, here are Colossus and Juggernaut out of the package. And this Colossus figure is amazing. Juggernaut is really cool too, but Colossus, wow. Awesome, awesome two-pack that I highly recommend everybody get. And I haven't even gone over the articulation or the details or anything, but the classic Colossus look, how awesome is that? So we will take a look and compare to the previous Build-A-Figure as well as the previous Colossus figure that Hasbro has released. Uh, but first, let's take a closer look at um, Colossus, look over his articulation accessories, then we'll look at the Juggernaut, and then I'll go through um, comparisons for each during as I'm going through them. So let's get right to that now. Okay, here's a close-up look at Colossus and what an awesome looking figure. This is the same head sculpt as the one that we got in the Warlock wave, um, but the rest, well, not the rest of the figure, the torso, the body, the legs are different, um, but the arms and hands are the same. But I really like the actual chrome look that we have here as opposed to kind of the, uh, the other I guess look to it, the one with the wash over it. Um, I really like the shiny look to Colossus. I think it's awesome. I'm, I'm glad that we got the classic suit. Um, just really great looking all around, so I'm glad to have it. Um, surprisingly enough, the paint apps are pretty good on this guy. Not that there's a whole lot to begin with anyway, <clears throat> anyway but it's all done pretty cleanly and I don't have any issues. I have this belt here. That looks good. And the rest of the figure. Yeah, all around, just what an awesome looking figure. So happy to have this guy. And you can see the left hand is an open hand. Both hands are open, and he does come with additional hands, which are both fists. So extra interchangeable hands that he comes with. But yeah, what a great looking figure. Now let's look at his articulation. Okay, so articulation. So Colossus can look down. No problem. He can look all the way up really well as well. Swivel of the head, and there is some neck pivot in there, so that's great. Shoulders come up that high there. Then the shoulder pieces are actually pretty fl flimsy or not not really flimsy, but they're soft enough that they can move around. It's really not going to hinder. So you can get a full rotation there, and it's that's not going to stop it at all. Um, there is an upper bicep swivel. You get a double, not a, I'm sorry, a single jointed elbow. I think I'm so used to saying double. Single jointed elbow, which looks like it's just under 90 degrees. Don't have a problem with that at all. Here is a wrist swivel, and we do have a hinge. And the same on both sides. One thing that's kind of driving me a little crazy is these wristbands are actually kind of big, so they move around quite easily. Usually when we get stuff like this that's actually added on, it's a little bit of a tighter fit, but they're they're definitely a lot looser and can really move around on uh, the arm. Ab crunch, he can crunch down that far. 
you can crunch that back and then the color goes throughout so it's really not going to be too bad at all. You get a waist swivel in there and the belt doesn't get in the way but you could always move it if it were to. Legs go out this far apart so he can do the splits. He can kick out that far and his leg is not going to go back at all. There is an upper thigh cut there. You get a double jointed knee so this boot part here is actually just part of the kneecap and then it's pretty soft rubber. So that's not going to get in the way of anything. No calf swivel, but we get a foot that hinges down. Hinges up only a tiny bit, so that's probably the most lacking in articulation for this figure. And then we get a nice ankle pivot there. So, what an awesome looking Colossus and good articulation. Now let's see him next to the Warlock Wave. Okay, here are the two Colossus figures side by side, and what a difference between the two. The color of the metal chrome versus the not chrome finish, and then the costume choice. That is the huge thing about this figure is getting this classic Colossus look to it. So I'm super excited to have it. As you can see, the head sculpts are the same. The arms and hands are the same. The rest of the figure is different. Now, one thing I really like about this guy is he actually has big feet, which helps keep him balanced and standing no problem this guy is you know he can stand up but just a second ago he had topped toppled over and i had to re refilm some of this um, but the feet are a little bit small in my opinion so it makes it a little bit difficult to keep him balanced he wants to kind of fall back because he's a bulkier figure he's kind of top heavy compared so he does want to fall over so i just wish the feet were a little bit bigger but still a great looking figure now let's move on to the juggernaut all right, and here's a close-up of the Juggernaut, and you can see here he has a different helmet. So this one is a new head. The head inside, underneath the helmet, is the same, but you can see that it is a different shape, whereas this one is not nearly as wide, and then it has the textured in the wash, whereas this one is a much wider, giving it a more classic look to where it looked like, you know, it wasn't even a separate helmet piece on top of his head. You still saw the rivets. Um, but that's the kind of look that they're going for. So that's why it's wide and almost goes all the way to his shoulders. So um, I do think it looks really good because the face underneath, again, is the same. We get silver, whited out eyes instead of having the, uh, the pupils. It's just an awesome look to it. I really like the way it looks. And then here we get a much brighter color scheme to the Juggernaut. Again, um, a little bit more of a classic look, but it's all the same. We just don't get a belt on this guy. So that's how he was in the comics without a belt. So I know when I first saw it, I was thinking, wait, why isn't there a belt? And then someone on Instagram had asked about it as well, but yeah, definitely not gonna have one. And you can see it's the same as the Baff. We get the textured boots that are a bright red there, black tread. So basically out of the package, this guy is almost the exact same, just different color scheme, no belt, and then the new helmet. So let's zoom out and take a look at the articulation and compare them to the older Build-A-Figure. Okay, so for the articulation for Juggernaut, he can look down somewhat and he can look up somewhat in the helmeted head. Shoulders can go out that far apart. You try to put it any more out, you're going to pull the arm out. I know that's what happened to me. Full rotation, there is an upper bicep swivel. This band is loose and can be adjusted around. You get a single jointed elbow, which eh, happened again. I did that earlier. So you're only going to get that much of a bend in this elbow. So that's not even 90 degrees. You try and bend it anymore, depending on how you're holding it. You're going to pull that hand right out like I did several times now already. There is a wrist swivel, and you do get a hinge in there as well. We have additional hands, which I'll show you those here pretty soon. Ab crunch, you can crunch down that for that much forward so you can get him into a nice little running pose, charging. He can go back that much, so actually not a whole lot. There is a waist swivel there, no belt to get in the way of that. Legs go out that far apart. He can kick forward that much. Leg goes back a tiny, tiny bit. There's an upper thigh cut where that leg first connected when it was still a Build-A-Figure. Single jointed knee, which gives you only that much bend, so not even 90 degree at the knee. There is no calf swivel. You get a foot that hinges all the way down though. Hinges up only a little bit, not a whole lot, and then ankle pivot. So decent articulation for a big guy. Now the head, and pop that off just so you guys can know and can see it. This helmet is a very soft like rubber material which can kind of be adjusted around. It still looks good but there's no texturing to it whatsoever. 
Same material is used for the damaged effect one, but this one shows a lot of texture and scratches and nicks and things like that, so it's really cool. So let's do, switch out the heads and show you guys these really cool things. Okay, so I popped on the unmasked head for Juggernaut, and this thing looks really, really good. The hair is a separate sculpted piece that's glued onto the head, so that's how you can get that layered look with the little pieces of hair that come down over his forehead. I really like the way that looks. The, the black eye bruise came out looking awesome, the purple around there, and nice touch Hasbro. They put red or pink in the eye not having just the white around his eyes. How awesome is that little bit of attention to detail? You know, they did the purple for the black eye and then a little bit of pink for that bloodshot eye. Great job, Hasbro, on that little detail. That's something that could have easily been overlooked, but they went the extra step and did it like that. It kind of has a little bit of a busted lip right there. You can kind of see it, and that looks really good. I really like the way that looks. You get blue eye over here and it came out looking good. One thing that's tough is this guy has absolutely no neck and it kind of looks funny like that. But what you could do is you can do this kind of thing and that would look really good too. So you can place the helmet right over it and they did some really nice things with this helmet. So if you look here, again looking at all of the nicks and scratches throughout makes it look really good. So nice attention to detail there. Then the busted portions of it are sculpted nicely to look like the metal itself has kind of been torn. They added some silver paint in there for where this red paint would have scraped off. Nice touch, I think that looks really good. And again, it just sits right on top of his head like so, and yeah. And it looks like it just got busted off that side of his head. That looks really good. You could see inside of it where his head kind of rests on there to give it that look like he's wearing it. So that is pretty awesome. I like the way that is. Okay, in terms of accessories, Juggernaut comes with two um, additional interchangeable hands. So a left hand that is open and then a right hand, um, which is like a holding hand, but it doesn't come with anything to hold. Now, really cool thing that these little band portions in here are actually um, not sculpted onto the figure. They are a separate rubber piece that you could remove if you actually wanted to. I'm going to keep them on. Um, but just know that you could remove them. This one would be a little bit tricky trying to get over the fingers, but you could. Um, it would have been nice if they went a little bit of a different shade over the, the, the fingernails, but uh, the hands themselves look sculpted well. Now, one thing that's tricky and why the hand kept popping off for me is because these pegs for these hands are very, very short. So they're easy, uh, very easy to pop off. Like when I was trying to hinge the hand, it just popped right off like that because there's just no peg to it. Um, but makes it easy to peg right on in. It just goes in there like so. And there's that. And this hand looks abnormally large. I mean, even when in a fist, his fingers seem extra long. And I think that's because of the band. So that hand kind of looks funny to me. But that's probably just me. But same side on the other one. You just easily pop that right on off. And pop the new one on so he has these open hands and that's something that will also help differentiate this figure from your build a figure which speaking of let's get into the comparison okay so here are the two juggernaut figures side by side and you can see again they are the same sculpt it's just the color schemes that are going to be very different along with Again, no belt and different head sculpts, of course. So here you can see it's a much darker color. The reds are similar, but this is a little bit of a darker red. This is much um, much brighter. Same with the boots, the browns, darker brown. The bands on his arms and hands um, are a darker brown color with a black wash. So nice detail in this one. Whereas this one, we get the same sculpt to it, but it's just red. There's no, um, there's no wash on it at all. Um, so I do like this one. I actually like this Juggernaut more than this one, but this one does have a special place being a more classic look. Or as my friend Derek, Plastic Soul Collector, would say, it looks like um, he came from the video game with the brighter red. So still has its place and still looks really good. So earlier I had talked about the head sculpt being different. So looking at it, again, here it's all smooth around the helmet, whereas this one... You can see it has a lot of texture detail and a black wash over it. But again, the face inside is the same. And one thing that I really liked that Hasbro did is they put a big old 
chip in his tooth right in the middle there and I thought at first that was just kind of how the paint looked but it's actually sculpted like that so that looks really good and again I really like the whited out eyes so um, you can see big difference in those head sculpts and again this one's much much wider of course you could switch them I'm not going to show you guys but you could switch them if you wanted to um, because of all the same figures and everything like that so it could happen what I can do though is take this one off and do the unmasked head onto this guy and that would look pretty good as well so for your build a figure juggernaut that looks good and then you could always just kind of turn it to wear his helmet instead of showing his face so nice little touch I like the way it looks Okay, and just a couple of quick size comparisons. Here, uh, Colossus and Juggernaut are with the Tiger Stripe Wolverine. Here they are with the Jim Lee Cyclops for your typical six inch action figure, Marvel Legend. Here they are with the new Retro Wave Storm. And last, here they are with Deadpool. Now this is the X-Force Deadpool, the other Deadpool I still have in my display. Uh, but, you know, you can make some fun with these three, even though these are comic versions, not the movie versions like in the movie. Um, but there they are. So that is my review of these two figures. You guys let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited for this two-pack? Will you be picking it up? I believe somebody in California, probably SoCal, found them at a Target store. Um, so they are starting to hit in places. Um, but you guys let me know if you're going to be picking it up. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Hit that thumbs up button if you guys liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.